Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today I am, can't believe this, I'm filming the Stamp Around UK project for the 1st of December 2021. Our theme today is black and gold. So I am about to have a go. So I do have a prototype to start me off. I've got bits and pieces here. So I'm using a sentiment from Ponsetia Petals. I'm going to use the Warm Wishes from our home to yours. Um, from there. And, and no stamps. <laughs> or, yeah. And I'm using the Ponsetia dies. I have already die cut out. And for my label, I have used this triple punch. I've not worked out the measurements. I did it by eye. They're not brilliant, but um, that's a whole other video, getting the measurements for these triple punches, which I'll have a look at. There are people who have done some good ones, and I think um, Jess Carpenter has, and I can't remember. Nigeza Creates. Um, you'll find her on YouTube. I know that if you have a look back, she's done one a while ago. Now, uh, Nigeza Creates usually takes part in this hop, so she shouldn't be too difficult to find. And if you can't find that video, then ask her. And I'm sure she'll sort you out. So I've got, I've got these um, brushed metallic gems. So this is my prototype. You will agree that is black and gold. I'm just going to show you the background paper started out as this white background paper from the Simply Elegant Designer Series paper. Okay, and I thought because it's got the gold foiling on it, now so I've gone to um, Expressions in Ink for this card and found another paper which is white with gold foiling on it. So that will be transformed in a minute. As I see, I've got oh, oh yeah. So I've got these bits. Of, they're not perfectly spaced, but I'm going to go with them to do my sentiment. I've got this lovely um, shimmer ribbon, gold shimmer ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. So I'm pretty sure that's in the mini catalog which will be ending at, in December will soon be um, come December it will be like just while stocks last on the mini so if there's things in there that you want I would get them soon I wouldn't I wouldn't wait to see if they reduce things because this some of them just sell out pretty quick so yeah that's the ribbon I'm going to use. I'm just going to use the same composition. So our black sparkly paper, again, this is in the mini. Now this came back from last year, so I doubt we'll see this again in a long time unless it comes back in as a staple in the annual catalogue. But I've cut out three this three poncetias. I didn't use the embossing dies in the poncetia dies because I felt with the glitter up it wasn't really required. So that's that bit. So let's, and I've cut out these from the Ponsetia dies as well, these sprigs of berries, which I hadn't used in that one. I'm not sure if I'll use in this one, but they're there. All right. So I have cut my layers ready so that this video doesn't go on forever. Now, when you've watched my video, please go into the description box below and you'll see the list of all the other people in this video hop all doing black and gold projects. I think it's going to be fab and I can't really wait to get a look around. So, how did I make the background black? Are you okay with mess? Because, do you know, that's becoming my trademark messy inky. And I'm going to use my memento ink pad. My tuxedo black and I'm just going to check that my phone is still filming properly and I'm not talking to myself. Yeah, we're all right. 
So I've got a bit of old paper, scratch paper, and I'm just going to wipe my pad over my paper, saturate the white. And you're thinking, oh, look at that mess. What is she doing? She's just making a mucky mess. Quick way to paint, isn't it? Using paint pads. Have you ever done that on a wall, using pads to paint with? Gives you quick coverage. I think this pad maybe needs re-inked. And what's happening here is the gold foiling is resisting the black ink. So there we go. I think that's... Oh no, there's a bit that the white's coming through. You might need to let it dry and then do another coat. But the way to find out is with an old soft cloth, it needs to be soft, or a piece of kitchen paper. Nothing scratchy. Just clean off it. And as you see, the gold foiling has resisted the black. And we now have black and gold striped paper. We did have some black and white gold paper I think in the last catalogue I can't remember which one but there we have it again so there so orange on the back and some black sparkle paper you can of course gut this but am I being a bit will I yeah I will Where's my trimmer? When I say gut it, I know a couple of people said, what do you mean when you say you gut it? Well, you could take, say, a rectangle die and cut the middle out with that, but if you use your trimmer and just go to past half an inch anyway, and take that, don't go all the way up. I can't actually see where I am, but we'll be able to. I think if I was on, I think I would see better if I was on the back of it, actually. I can see the line better here. Basically what I'm doing is cutting a rectangle out of the middle of this. Just use my snips to get the rest of it out. Ooh, losing things. that bit for later to do something for another card and then we'll stick this on here so we just want some glue around that bit And 
then we want some ribbon. Now I felt on on the other card that I might have put the ribbon a little bit low. So I think I might put it just a bit further up now I did. I have no tape runners top tape runners left. I've used them all up so I absolutely need to get them on my next order. I do have tear and tape, but to be honest, where's my a wee glue dot will do. It's just to stop the ribbon jumping around. So let's pop it slightly higher up. them out because I do want to use them again. So we'll just pop that there. Probably just as low again, but I'm just going to leave it. Let's go with it. Is that or? So I kind of would like the, well I suppose if the hydrangeas that way it will be alright, right okay. And then we'll pop this onto the base card. So I hope you enjoy our Stamp Around UK video hops and get some inspiration. I certainly get loads of information from my fellows on this hop. My goodness they come up with some amazing Amazing things. So see, I have done a fair bit of prep for this card and you, it's not my style, but I did keep the messy bit for you to see. But I have pre-cut out the die cuts. And I need a line. I haven't put a liner in the other one. Have I got some cut here? Well, I've got my memento out. I absolutely love this sentiment. May magic and wonder bloom this holiday. So I think we'll just pop that inside. I just like it. This is a gorgeous stamp set. And you see, this came out last year and I have used and used it and used it. That's why the stamps are all stained. But that's okay. What happens? And I haven't used it this season yet, so it's good to get it out. I thought I had twisted that for a moment, but it's okay. And then what I'll use is this Ponsetia stamp. They said I wasn't doing stamping and then I end up doing it. I'll just put a wee Stamp it off a bit. And of course, we're not putting any colouring because we're basically sticking with black and gold, but just that bit of white in so that we can see the writing, understand what we're writing. Look at the detail in that, it's fabulous. So this stamp set is in the annual catalogue. Pop this. I've closed my ink and I need it for the sentiment.
right so that's it's got an inside and it's got an outside <laughs> So ribbons on I'm just my brains I'm filming this quite late I probably should have kept it but I kind of thought I had all the things ready and I thought if I don't do it I'll forget what I was doing so let's do the sentiment first of December hey eh? gosh countdown's on now should really have my Christmas cards ready for the post I used to do that Again, I'm layering this up with gold and black. No, I'm trying to anyway. I'm going to get a drink of my coffee. Maybe that will wake me up. The end. Would have been better if I had the white one just a bit shorter. And I'm aware that my H is slightly off, but squint stamping because I couldn't get my head right over the top of it. Just going to go with that. I love this black glimmer paper. It's beautiful. I'll miss it terribly when it goes. <laughs> anyway, that's all a bit dramatic, but it's true. There are just certain products that you miss. And the blue, the Bami blue glitter paper that we had last year, I actually, for some reason, thought it had come back. And I think a card recently I filmed with it without saying this is retired because I completely thought it was still current and it's not. <laughs> but hey, I can't know everything. I try to know mostly what's going on. So today, I think, I'm trying to think, 1st of December, yeah, demonstrators will be putting in their pre-orders for the new annual catalogue. In fact, I should leave that until I've got this on. Right. Let's give this a bit of a... I'll just take the bone folder and just curl the petals a wee bit. Just give that a bit of a lift. You can do it with your scissors, but if you're a, if you're too rough with your scissor blade, you can cut your finger. And you can also um, break off a petal. Ask me how I know. Right, I'm just going to put this together with glue dots. I'm just going to put a couple of glue dots. On its bottom. I'll put three there just to make sure it's stuck properly. I'm going. Okay, sorry for the wee jump in the film got a phone call I had to take so there will be a wee jump there but let's just carry on here and we'll pop the base I was just making up the oh do you know what I decided to do sorry do you know you have an idea and then you get distracted <laughs> but um what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop one of these little black dimensionals in the curve of each of the petals on this and it will just help it to hold that shape I 
just in the deepest part of the cart. I forgot about doing that using my pokey tool. Well, it works sometimes. <laughs> there we go. And I've got glue dots on the base there. So I'm going to pop that like that. And then this one will go on with glue dots. But I've moved them, obviously moved them while I was talking on the phone. put one here. My fingers are filthy now after doing that with the black ink. And then I'm, all, I'm putting these petals into the gaps. And then this one, again, just should be able to pick it up actually onto the flower. I'm making a pig seed of this. You could do that with each of the layers with the dimensionals, but I think just doing it with the bottom one, it just keeps the shape there. Oops. And then I'm using these brushed gold. put a triple one of the big ones there. On that one I've got half a dozen of the little ones. On that one I've just put three of the bigger ones. So that is our Ponsetia. And then we have these gold, gold fronds. Just like berries, aren't they? We could just pop we would just pop if the glue would come out. Doesn't need a lot but just put some on a couple of the lower And just tuck it in. And let's put the this the sentiment on. I'm putting it across the ribbon like that. And then do we want any more of this? Don't know. Not putting a whole lot more in. I could I would normally maybe put some vellum ones in or something. But because I'm sticking with black and gold, because that was the theme. And who set the theme? Well, that would be me, so I need to stick with it. I'm just going to pop another one in. Oh, maybe not. doesn't want to. Just leave it at that. I think that's... I don't know if I've kind of overkill here or not, but it won't go further and we'll just leave it as is. So... A fancy card. So there we have it. That was my prototype. And this is the one that we've made tonight. So black and gold, I think I've stuck with that. What do you think? Which one do you like better? Do you like this one? Without the extra berries and things. And with this beautiful pattern. Or do you like the striped ones with the gold berries? 
thank you very much please check out all the projects below please subscribe and please press the bell icon so you can see what's coming next thank you very much everyone see you next month